I'm Mayan, I'm the co-founder and CEO of Elementary Data. Um, we're building an open source data observability solution for data analytics engineers. Um, I started Elementary with all my co-founder uh, about a year and a half ago. Um, and we've both been working with data for many years, I experienced the problems of basically data breaks all the time. And you, you always uh, learn about it way too late after it becomes a real fiasco with your users or consumers. Um, so that's, that was like the problem we wanted to solve in the world. We felt that like there's a need for a solution and we both build a pretty similar solution in different companies. So it felt like there's a place to build uh, one solution that many companies could use. At first, we we did like the uh, textbook how to do ideation for a startup then discovery phase. And we went and just talked to tons of teams. Um, I think we had conversations with uh, data professionals from 70 different companies. We learned way more from our first open source users than from all the conversations we had before. There is a really low barrier of entry, right? You can just start. You can just do something, build an MVP, post it, and then you will get immediate feedback on whether it makes sense to users or not, right? Because you post something and then it's it's easy enough to just put a post on Reddit or on LinkedIn or somewhere. And, and if you don't get any traction, it means something. And if you get some initial traction and people, even, even if it sucks, right? Even if it doesn't work. If someone was interested enough to come and tell you it doesn't work, then it means there is something there. And I think we, we realized that, um, like we could have realized that six months earlier, just start building instead of talking and talking and talking and more conversations. Also, I think something we did is we were looking for uh, what you would call design partners, because that's like the uh, sort of the playbook yes. when you build. Uh, yeah, a B2B SaaS product, look for design partners. And again, we were going to companies and trying to like make them use the open source instead of uh, promoting it and waiting for people to come to us. And then when people came to us, they were actively looking for a solution to this problem in this moment. And like they became like 10 times more engaged. Right now, the team, uh, we have... Uh, four engineers and we have a product manager um, and they're like building uh, all day the product together. And uh, I'm like a bit jealous because I used to be in the code and in the details and, and I miss that. But I'm also happy that it's like taking a life of its own. Our best hiring stories was a candidate that we wanted to hire. And while he was interviewing for us, he just started to pick up issues and like yeah. contribute. <laughs> And then we're like, oh, we feel bad. We should start paying him for all the work <laughs> he's doing for us. So like, that's uh, that's how we hired one of our first engineers. So our big challenge for 2023 is to um, manage both the closed SaaS beta we started with our first customers and like not hurting our growth in the open source because we feel like we have a long way to go still, but as we are trying to build a sustainable business, then we have to start uh, the, the second path as well. So we hired, uh, we, we grew the team. So we think we can uh, now have the resources to do both and we're still hiring. So uh, if you're, uh, especially front-end developers, <laughs> uh, we're, uh, we're hiring, but um, I think that's our, our biggest challenge for this year to be able to do both. Um, and right now on the open source, we're mainly focusing on improving the detection capabilities of the product and making the anomaly detection much better, like uh, making the, the detection more sophisticated and handle use cases like seasonality and stuff. How did you meet with your co-founder? Um, ah. <laughs> um, so I, I was working on a startup called Signia. I was one of the first employees. Um, and then we grew, and two years later, we hired an engineer, uh, Ronnie, 
a really talented developer and we became friends and then I met her, her husband, Ol, and we became friends as well and eventually <laughs> uh, we started ruin ruining a lot of double dates, right? Uh, <laughs> Ol and I talking about uh, tech and startups and our ambitions and data and uh, eventually we, we decided to start a company together. So yeah, like what's the scene like in, in Israel? Is there any anything you might like to share about it? Uh, and are you active there in terms of conferences or you know going to office some of the startups and, and all this? What's yeah. happening? Um, so uh, yeah, I, I don't know how if people are familiar with it, but like Israel has a huge tech ecosystem and uh, there are some companies here that build products that are really popular worldwide and people probably don't even know they're Israelis, like uh, Wix and Monday.com and Waze and uh, like a lot of tech here. Um, a lot of the industry here is cybersecurity related, like a lot of big cybersecurity companies and also small ones. Um, and not a lot of open source startups. Like when Or and I decided we were gonna do it, people thought we were crazy. <laughs> but now there are more. Uh, open source companies here so it's it's kind of a growing industry and we try to like talk with each other and consult with each other and I felt a lot of support from other founders here that were like in more advanced stages when when I was just starting and I'm trying to help as well like I, I think I already talked to like maybe 12 teams that are thinking of doing this go-to-market and are trying to understand why we did it and what are the challenges. In my YC batch, there were 10% women, but hardly any CEOs. Mm. Um, and I think here in Israel, it's, it's like the same. Like you do see more and more women in tech, but not in like really leading positions yet. Um, I think uh, like a while back, I saw an article there like a hundred unicorns in Israel, but only one women CEO of a, of a unicorn. So uh, this is something that bothers me as a woman CEO, right? But uh, on the team, we just uh, made our first hire for a, a woman engineer. So that's cool. And I'm happy it was like our uh, fourth hire, which is pretty, pretty early. Um, and on my previous startup, I was able to build a team of 50-50. So I hope I, uh, I'll, I'll be able to do the same in elementary as well.